Okay, so we're going to look at a couple of like problems now that include sine rule and cosine rule. Um, that was all the skills before. So here we've got a zookeeper building an enclosure for some llamas. You know what a llama is, right? Yeah. Okay. The enclosure is in the shape of a quadrilateral as shown. Uh, if the length of the diagonal BD is 136 metres, find the angle between the fences AB and BC. Even though that first bit maybe, did you say A was easy? It was alright. Okay, we're still going to do the whole thing anyway. So we're going to look at, it says the length of the diagonal BD is 136. So I'm going to want to add that to my diagram as 136 metres. And it wants us to find the angle between the fences AB and BC. So there's AB and there's BC that we've got here. So in order to find this large angle that we've got, I'm going to want to find the smaller angle there, which I called alpha, and then the other angle here, which I've called beta. So it looks like we're going to do two separate triangles. My advice for these kinds of questions is to draw the triangles out separately. So I'm going to go a little bit faster for this beginning one. So we want this angle at the top. There's a 66 there. That's a 76, and that's 136. So the sine rule will say that sine alpha over 76 equals sine 66 over 136. So I'm going to just put that all in my calculator, and I'm going to go straight to the value of alpha. So that's sine 66 over 136 times it by 76, and I'll do the inverse sine of that answer, and we get, I hope you agree with this, we've got that for alpha. I'm then going to draw this second triangle out here. So again, we've got 136. That's the angle that I want, which is beta. That's 80, and that's 98. So we're going to do sine beta over, oh, I didn't even label this was, oh, I did label it was 80. Just couldn't even read my own diagram. Sine beta over 80 is sine 98 over 136. So let's see what we've got there. So that's sine 98 divided by 136, times it by 80, inverse sign the answer, and we get 35.627 degrees. So the angle A, B, C is just these two added together. How much, sorry? 66.3 degrees. It then says find the length of the fence A, B. So to find the length of the fence AB, I think we've probably now got enough information to be able to work that out. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, we can just do the cosine rule. So if I just take this triangle now, just this one again, that's the one we've already drawn over here. So if I just repeat that diagram, we've got that this is 76, this is 136, this is 66, and alpha was 30.697. So we want this angle here. So we'll do 180 minus 66 minus 30.697. And we get that this angle is 83.303. And we want to find out the length of the fence AB. So we're just going to do the cosine rule on that bit. I'm not going to finish that question entirely, but we're just going to get x squared equals 76 squared plus 136 squared minus 2 times 76 times 136 times the cosine of 83.303 degrees. Did anybody do that one and actually work out the answer? Did you what did you? Uh, couldn't you just do it with 66 and 36? You, you also, correct, could have done it with 66 and 136. Uh, you could have done those as the A's and you could have done it like that. But then I just find this one a little bit easier just because I've already got X as the subject and so there's less manipulation. But you're totally right, you should end up with the same answer. What did anyone get when they did this, Arisa? 114. 148 meters. So. I did, I did, I was bought this bit after okay, cool. To do from A to C, uh, so if you wanted to do A to C, that is a really good question and it's still possible, okay? So this is going to be for A to C. Now, you're right about cutting the angles. Do we cut the angles in half? No, no we don't know. So for this triangle that we've got here, uh, I actually don't know if we do have enough information. Let me think. So this is possible. So this is 76 and this is 80. If you wanted to find out this angle here, you could find out this angle and this angle from here and here. Oh, yeah, why wouldn't we do that? Yeah, much better. Here's me trying to make something even more complicated. So let's not do that. 
you would just do 360 minus those three that we've got here. So 360 minus 66.3 minus 98 and minus 66. That would give you your answer, and then you could do the cosine rule. So you've answered your own question. Okay, so one that's similar here again. Um, I think maybe you guys just want to actually just try this one yourself because it's very similar to the ideas that we were just talking about. Um, so just to read through it, and then I'm going to start doing it myself on the board as well. Uh, so we've got four mobile phone masts in a field. And they've told you all the different things that is already shown on the diagram. In order that the masts do not interfere with each other, they must be at least 70 metres apart. Given that A is the minimum distance from D, find the distance A is from B. So looks like it's going to be the same kind of idea that we've had before, and we're going to try and think about splitting these things up. Anyone got any suggestions of where they're going to split it between which two letters to make some triangles? D and B. Yeah, actually, you could do either. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with you. Let's do D and B. Cool, let's do that. You can either follow me doing it, or you can, uh, you can do your own. Don't do the cosine rule here. Just gonna put that all in my calculator. I think we're going to need some more information, aren't we? Yeah. So maybe that wasn't the best split. So we need an angle. How are we going to find an angle? Oh, we can just do... No, what can we do? No, so I've, I've spotted it. Can anybody... I think I've just seen what we can do. Very good, Nabil. We can work out VDC, this angle here, from that triangle. And then we can find out what this angle, tri this angle here is. So if this is the one that we're going to say is theta, this one is going to be 140 minus theta. Because we know together they make 140. Very, very good, Nabil. Impressed with that. So I'm going to do another bit of working out here to find out what theta is. Yeah, we can just call it x over, sorry. This is just long, this question, and not particularly interesting. Sorry, to this question. So we can do cosine rule again.
hope someone's got the same answer as me. That's what I think I've come up with. And then we're going to just try some questions from 9E after that, OK? So many steps. It's just sine rule, sine rule, cosine rule, cosine rule, area, area. It's just like, just make sure your diagrams are clearly drawn, I think. <laughs> 